everybody. My name's Nancy Kenny. I'm the clogging instructor at the Countryside YMCA. I don't think you can see my head, but you can hear my voice. And I'm gonna take you through my 10 pages of clogging steps to help you learn how to clog. You can get through this little lesson. You'll be all set to join us when the classes come back to in-person. Uh, I'll also be teaching some little routines, uh, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. So if you would like to see some of that, um, stay tuned and we'll be posting up some new videos. But when you clog, the, one of the main things that we teach is to recenter your gra weight over the, the foot. Your center of gravity has to be over the foot that you're stepping on. So the word step is in a lot of the, the clogging steps. Just like when we walk, we recenter our center of gravity over the foot that we're walking on. We're not usually conscious of it, but we're trying to put our nose and our knee over that foot that we're on, then we put our nose and our knee over the other foot. And we do it quickly so we're not conscious, but um, in learning to walk, little babies do this. And so us grown-ups kind of have to remember this and become more aware of it when we're learning how to dance. So anytime you hear the word step, all your weight needs to be centered over that foot. So we want to keep that in mind. So the first step in clogging is to learn the double step. So we always start on the left foot in clogging, which is the opposite of tap, but it's um, the way they do it in clogging, which has a history of folk dance, um, an unwritten history. So um, it was passed down verbally through the years, um, originating mainly in the Appalachian Mountains in this country. It has roots in uh, German influence, English influence, uh, Dutch influence. But as you can see, we don't wear wooden shoes when we clog. We wear shoes that have a double tap on the toe and the heel. So it jingles, it's called a jingle tap. So when I shake my foot, you can hear the loose tap that is loosely attached hitting against the tap that is secured against my shoe. So we're taking our toe and we're brushing it forward and back. Our heel isn't making contact, so we brush forward, back, and step down. And then our weight transfers, and now our other foot's ready. Forward, back, step down. Transfer of weight again. Forward, back, step down. Brush forward, brush back, and step down. So this is called, in clogging, a double step. Double step, because there's two sounds. Double, and then the third sound is the step. Double step, double step. Some clogging teachers call it a double toe step, because it's only your toe. Again, not your heel. Your heel doesn't make contact. You can brush forward and kind of point your toe, brush back and kind of flex your foot, and then step down. So that's the basic um, motion for learning the step that is called the basic. So we're doing, gonna do a double step and our weight is on that foot and we're adding another part to it which is called the rock step. So it's like we're gonna walk backwards and then we change our mind and we walk forward. Rock, step, rock, step. So you might try that with your other foot. Put the other foot in the back and rock, step, rock, step. So the basic, which is the foundational step of all of clogging, is a double step, rock, step. So let me demonstrate that. Double step, rock, step. Double step, rock, step. Double step. isn't hitting the floor when you brush your toe. Double toe step, rock step. Double toe step, rock step. So that's called the basic. One, one side is the basic. So double step, rock step is one basic. Now we're ready. This foot is free. Double step, rock step. To do this
the second basic. When you rock back, uh, step, rock, step, you don't have to put your heel down all the way. Some people just, just rock step on the ball of their foot once you get going a little faster. But um, I want to make sure that you transfer all your weight to the back when you rock back and rock forward. So that rock takes all your weight again. And you might notice that your head moves from the front of the room to the back of the room as you do a rock step. So it's double step, rock step, double step, rock step. Or if you want to just rock on the ball of your foot, double step, rock step, double step, rock step. So don't just touch. Don't go double step, touch step because you can't, you're not transferring your weight. That's, that's a mistake a lot of beginners make. So we don't, we want all of our weight to go backwards. So if that might, means putting your heel down just to get the feeling of transferring your weight, that's absolutely fine. As you pick up speed, um, you'll, you might like to know that fogging for one hour at an intermediate or advanced speed is the equivalent of running six miles. So it's a very good fitness um, exercise to do. Plus, clogging is called much like square dancing is. You might know a little bit of square dancing like swing your partner around and around, do si do and stuff like that. Well, all of the clogging steps are called as well. And so when you hear a step, you know exactly what to do. You listen for it right before you need to do it. So it takes all your concentration and you forget that you're exercising. And so it's a really fun way to stay in shape and get a lot of good cardio and um, keep your, yourself in, in shape and being in the moment, you know, being um, present in the present moment and not, you can't think about anything else, which is a great thing um, to be able to have something that, that pulls in your mind, body, and spirit. So the basic, as I demonstrated, is double step, rock step, double step, rock step. A fancy is called two double step, which it starts with two double steps, double step left, double step right, and then two rock steps, rock step. So you, you rock the same foot back and forth. So a fancy, or sometimes called a fancy double, is double step. double because it's two double steps, two rock steps. A double that's not a fancy double is double step, double step, one rock step, and you pause. You, that you just might hold two counts. Double step, double step, rock step, and pause. Double step, double step, rock step, and pause. So the counts are and a one and a two and three and four for a fancy double one double two and three and four for a double. A triple is three double steps. Double step left, double step right, double step left, and one rock step. And then you're ready to do a triple on your right foot. Double step right, double step left, double step right. So a triple goes and a one and a two and a three and four and a five and a six and a seven and eight. That was two triples together. Or you say to yourself, double step, double step, double step, rock step, double step, double step, double step, rock step. So that's a triple. The other motion in clogging is called a brush up. Um, if you pictured this being a, a blackboard and my little bone that sticks out of my ankle as a piece of chalk, if I was going to do a brush up, I'm going to brush forward just like I did with the double toe step, double step like that. But I'm just brushing forward. I'm not coming back in that direction. I'm brushing forward. I'm bringing my foot up and back around. So I'm making an oval shape on my blackboard with my piece of chalk that's on my ankle. 
Press up, around, and come back. 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 You can try that with the other foot. Press up, around, and come back. 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 So, a brush up starts with a double step. Double step, and then all of our weights on that foot. So the other foot's gonna do brush up and around and come back. Then we're gonna do it on the right foot. Double step, and then left foot, brush up, around and come back. The other thing that we do to keep the timing is click the heel that we're standing on. So it looks like this. Double step, brush up and click. Double step, brush up and click. Now we're getting in, we've done all the, this, the foundational steps and movements, uh, or most of them that we need to become a clogger. And we're going to now put some steps together and do combination steps. So a rocking chair is a brush up with a basic. So it starts like this, double step and a brush up. And then a basic, double step, rock, step. So that's called a rocking chair. Double step, brush up, basic is on the end of it. Double step, brush up, and a basic. Double step, brush up, and a basic. So that all together is a rocking chair. Double step, brush up, double step, rock, step. So the counts are. Since a brush up is two counts and a basic is two counts, putting them together makes a four count combination. Sometimes we turn the rocking chair. So we'll go double step, brush, click, and a basic. Another rocking chair to face the back of the room. Double step, brush, and click. Double step, brush, and click. So that's a rocking chair to each of the four walls. So that was four rock, rocking chairs all together. All right, here's a favorite step called the cowboy. So remember I taught you the triple, which was three double steps. So the cowboy is a triple moving forward. So double one, double two, double three, three double steps, and then a brush up, brush up and flip. And then another double step, double step, and then three rock steps back. Rock step, rock step, rock step. So that's a cowboy. All of that is eight counts. So let's try it. Triple forward, double one, double two, double brush up, a double step, and three rock steps back. Again, double one, double two, double three, brush up. Sometimes we turn the cowboy on the brush up. Double step, double step, double step, brush and turn, double step, rock step. And then we might do that to each of the four walls. Triple, brush and turn, rock back. Try it again, triple forward, brush up, rock back three times, brush up to this wall. Oops, I messed it up. Let me try that one again. Triple forward. Brush up, rock back. So let's try the cowboy to turn to the front. Double step, double step, double step, brush and turn, rock back. There we go. That was four cowboys plus my bad cowboy that I, I messed up. All right, an outhouse. Double step, touch out with your toe. So you're putting just a slight amount of weight on your toe. You click this heel. You point your, up your that toe to the front and click the heel. And then you point to the side and click your heel. So that is called an outhouse. Double step, touch out, click, front, click, out, click. Now you can do it 
down the other foot. Double step, touch, out, twist, front, twist, out, twist. Double step, out, and front, and out. Double step, touch, out, and front, and out. A donkey is the opposite, where it's front, side, front. Double step, touch, front, and side, and front. Double step, touch, front, and side, and front. donkey, um, which are also popular steps in flogging. Um, <clears throat> here's another one, a twist and a basic. So we've been going double step, double step, and we have our weight uh, on separate feet. This time we're going to double twist your heels and then twist them the other way. Okay, so let, just pick your toes Put your weight on your balls of your feet and twist your heels. So your feet are together and we're twisting and putting our heels down. So we're going to go double twist, twist, and then our right knee comes up and we do a basic. Double step, drop step. So that's called a twist and a basic. Double twist, twist knee up and a basic. Again, double twist, twist knee up. Turkey starts with your heel. So you put your heel out, you flap your toe down, and you step behind. And then you do a basic. So a turkey is heel, flap, step, and a basic. And heel, flap, step, double step, flap, step. Those are turkeys. Try it again. Heel, flap, step, and a basic. Another turkey, heel, flap, step, and a basic. All right, walk the dog. Walk the dog is two double steps, double step, double step. Then we put our heel forward and we put all of our weight on it and we balance on that heel and then we put the other heel forward and then we go back to the balls of our feet. So it's heel, heel, ball, ball. Heel, heel, ball, ball. Heel, heel, ball, ball. You may have to lean your head a little forward to make sure that you don't lose your balance. Heel, heel, so my, my shoulders and my head are a little bit over the, the toes of my feet. Ball, ball. So two double steps, and then heel, heel, ball, ball. Ready? Double step, double step. Heel, heel, ball, ball. 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 All right, unclog. Everybody, um, this one doesn't have any double steps in it, I think that's why. And there's no rock steps in it. <laughs> so they've called that an unclog. So an unclog starts with a stamp. And just like when you go to the post office, they stamp the date on your, on your um, letter or your, your um, stamp that you, you know, your postage stamp. They stamp it so they cancel the stamp. We're going to put our foot down and bring it immediately back up. So stamp goes like that, and then you follow it by a stomp, which takes your weight. So it's stamp, stomp, and then stuff your heel. So remember how we've been doing our toes mainly. We're going to stuff our heel only. Our toe's not going to touch the floor, and our knee's going to come up, and we're going to click our heel in the opposite foot. So it looks like this. Stamp, stomp, stuff your heel up. Stamp, stomp, stuff your heel, knee up. Stamp. Stop, click, stamp, stomp, stop, click. All right, that's called an unclog. So it goes stamp, stomp, stop, up, stamp, stomp, stop, up, stamp, stomp, stop, up, stamp, stomp, stop, up. And you can kind of angle your feet a little to make it look more interesting. This one's called a hard step. A hard step is double back. So you might see that my, my knee is... Uh, close to my other knee and it's instead of a brush up where my knee is up here and this part's flat, my leg stays straight down and my the bottom half of my leg comes back. So it's double back and then a brush up and then a basic. Double step, rock step. So it looks like this. Double back, brush up. The next step um, is uh, the 
same footwork for several different things. So I'm just going to teach you the footwork first and then we're going to spin it around in a circle. We're going to go out left and right and um, use it in different ways. This is called an airplane. So uh, we're going to just go double step, drop step, drop step, drop step. So if you do your double step, this leg becomes like a peg leg, you know, and it doesn't, and the other foot lifts it off the ground. And we're going to spin this around in a circle. So we'll go step, drop step, drop step, drop step, and then the other way. you do the double step, it's that foot, it's that foot that's down, flat footed, rock step, rock step, rock step, is the foot that, that stays peg leg while the other one lifts all your weight on the ball of your foot. And so usually you do airplane arms, um, whatever you did the double step arm, or double step foot, sorry, double step, that hand's down and the other hand's up at an angle, rock step, rock step, rock step, do the airplane. Then you do the opposite foot, double step, that hand comes down and the other arm goes up at an angle. Rock step, rock step, rock step. So it looks like this. Double step, rock step, rock step, rock step, double step, rock step, rock step, rock step. So those are airplanes. Now if we do the same um, exact footwork out to the left or right, it's called a chain or a push off. That is the peg leg um, movement. Sometimes I call it like this. Triple 
together in a basic, just like we did a triple loop in a basic. Slur, a single slur, and a basic, there's eight counts again. Double one, double two, double two, slur, and a single one, slur, and a basic. Again, double one, two, two, slur, and a single one, slur, and a basic. Alright, jazz square. So you might have all seen this in other dance styles. Step forward, step over, step back. We're making a square with our foot. Here's one corner of the square, and we cross our leg over and make the other corner, and then the bottom two corners of the, of the square. So we usually do um, toe heels. So heel, cross, heel, back, heel, back, heel. That's one jazz square. Ready? So heel, cross, heel, back, heel, back, heel. A round out, or an eight count jazz square, as it's sometimes referred to. You keep going and do a, a, a part of it on the right side of your body. So we're going to go toe, heel, cross, heel, back, heel, back, heel, and then go across, back, back, together. So that's an eight count jazz square for a round out. So toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, cross, back, back, together. So if you drew uh, geometric shapes on the floor. This would be a square, but this would actually be a triangle <laughs> on that side, but it's called an eight count jazz square or round that. So picture a square on the floor, toe, heel, cross, heel, back, heel, back, heel. Now picture a triangle, cross, back, back, together. So you made a square and a triangle. All right, next step is a fun one. You remember the double was double step, double step, drop step, and pause. That was our double back in the beginning of this little video. Now we're going to do a stomp double. So you stomp first. And a lot of the kids like to jump up and stomp. So you go stomp, and then a double. Double step, double step, drop step, and stomp. when the music um, is so awesome right there that you, you just are part of the percussion section of the of the band of the music that, that you're accompanying. You're, you're part of the, the drumming, uh, but you're using your feet as percussion instruments. Okay, so instead of a stomp double, we can do a rock double. So just like the fancy double had two double steps, and two rock steps. A rock double has two double steps and two rock steps, but we take the last rock step and put it at the front, and we make that the beginning of it. So we'll do rock step, double step, double step, rock step, rock step, double step, double step, rock step. You might notice I'm emphasizing the first rock. Rock step, double step. Sometimes we turn it. Rock step, double step, double step, rock step, rock step, double step, double step, rock step, rock step, double step, double step. One more. All right. So we've gone through th page three of my ten pages. So we'll keep on going. You can rewind if this is getting a little too difficult and just go back and keep playing it and then you'll go a little farther the next time you watch and maybe catch a few more steps another time. So this is our hip step bind. Double step, hit your heel, and then step down. So you just tap your heel, pick it back up, kind of like that um, stamp was with your whole foot. This is like a heel stamp with only the heel. So it's double step, hit your heel, step down. Double step. Hit your heel, step back, heel step, hit your heel, step down, and do a basic. Heel step bind this way. Double step, heel step, double step, heel step. Another one, and a basic. All right, a clog over bind.
time is basically seven double steps in one direction. The one in the very middle, the fourth double step, you do a little bit differently. So let's just do it. So it's almost like a triple. Double one, double two, double three. Now the fourth one is double behind. And then you keep going with the same straight double step this way. And your last step. So it's double one, double two, double three, double behind. seven all together. The fourth one is a double behind. So let's just try that double behind. Double step, double behind. And then this way, double step, double behind. Okay, so let's do it. The clog over line. Double one, double two, double three, double behind, double one, double two, double three, last your hips when you as you're doing your most of the double steps your hips are facing diagonally this way then when you do this one your hips face the other corner of the room diagonal then you come back and your hips face the first corner so that might help as well thinking about the top of your body if you had a piece of um, wood on your on your hips or you held your arms straight out your your, um, your angle changes your the, the piece of wood points to the that diagonal corner and then the one in the middle it points to the opposite diagonal corner just for that one then it goes back to pointing to the other corner so we'll try to follow the other one one more time Okay, the next step is a Charleston. Double 